Some people have said that water is the oil of the 21st century. It's a lot more fundamental than oil. We can do without oil, we can't do without water. Where we are really going to be is dramatic changes in weather, loss of existing water, changes in ecosystems, and things we are only just beginning to appreciate and understand. This means that water managers have got to find new science, new technology, and they've got to break the existing way of thinking. It has to change, and we have got to be providing those solutions. It's everything. We're the only university in the world that holds a patent on the out-of-cycle spawning of North American yellow perch. These fish that are spawning in these off-cycle months like January and October, I don't even know what kind of dollar value you could put on something like that because nothing like that is available anywhere else. Our focus recently has been on urban aquaculture. Perhaps one of the most important things is you're putting the product at the center of consumer demand. I think with growing power and with other entities like Sweetwater Organics, it gives us the opportunity to take our tools that we develop from our research and then test them at these commercial operations. We're here, we're committed, and we intend to work and do whatever we can to make Milwaukee the urban aquaculture city in America. We enjoy our fish fries, yes. Where else can you eat your research? I do research on the impacts of emerging contaminants, so things like pharmaceuticals and personal care products and nanomaterials that migrate through the sewage treatment facilities or through leaky pipes from sewage and out into the aquatic environment. If we see some kind of effect of these chemicals on fish, the chances are that it's probably having a very similar effect on humans. Our research will help inform what emerging contaminants will be the most important to pay attention to in the future, which ones need to be removed from our sewage treatment facilities or need to be considered when we consider regulation for pharmaceuticals or other types of chemicals we put into products. And we'll be able to do this at a faster rate than we've ever been able to do this before. One of the things that has really impressed me about the direction that the School of Freshwater Science is taking is the decision to have a staff person who's going to be responsible for building the bridge between what happens in the lab and what happens in the real world. The choice to consciously bring information to the policy world, it's something that should be emulated by academic institutions around the region and it can only result in good information getting to the right people so they can make decisions to protect the Great Lakes, and that's a great step. What we've built here in Milwaukee is a magnet for other water technology companies, for researchers, for students who are interested in water technology, because here in Milwaukee, we not only have the 150 water technology companies, but the entire community has a mindset around building a water generation. The School of Freshwater Science provides more than anything else to this city a focus on water and the young talent, the creativity, the innovation, the entrepreneurship that's going to really drive this industry. And it's the School of Freshwater Science at UWM that's going to drive that focus. The lake is one thing at the surface, but it's a whole different world under the water. I get to be out on Lake Michigan. I get to learn about an environment that I'm really passionate about. I study freshwater ecosystem dynamics. These are quagga mussels. We're looking at some large-scale bird die-offs in Lake Michigan from avian botulism poisoning being able to see what goes on under the lake and kind of watching changes take place over the last few years as we've been diving here is really amazing. Diving, shallow. I think the Great Lakes provide a very unique environment that doesn't really compare to anywhere else in the world.
We are about to get a $53.6 million extension, state of the art. We'll be integrating engineering, policy, science and art into that building. This is not only just research, this is a demonstration centre. I believe that the future of water lies in the hands of Milwaukee and it can show everybody else in the world that this is the centre of excellence. Mm -hmm.